Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Well, children, this weekend is a very, very special weekend. We have a very, very big number to talk about. And that is we are celebrating our 135th year anniversary. Hmm. Allie, how old are you this year? Seven. Seven. Is that bigger than 135? I think it's a little bit smaller. 135, if you took seven and seven and seven and seven many, many, many times, and you come up, might come up with 135. So this weekend, we're remembering that when God helped this church begin, actually, it's been 135 years of being a church together. And if you imagine all the different people who have been involved in this church, that's quite an amazing thing to think about. Okay, but I have a question for you. And Ali, the question's mostly for you, but okay, we'll see. My question for you is, what's your story? Has anyone ever asked you that? Maybe not. What's your story? What's your story sort of a, a question someone might ask you if they want to know more about you and might want to know more about your life? So some people might answer it by, oh, the story of my life is, oh, you know, in this year I was born, 2017. Let me see if I can do my math. And you, do you remember what age you were when you got a baby brother? No, it was a little while ago. And some people might remember the first day of school or that time mom and dad brought me on a vacation, or some different things happen in our lives. So when we tell our story and someone asks you, what's your story? You might share a little bit of your life and what's happened in your life. Well, there's all sorts of different things that may happen, but with our church this size, actually there's been a lot of different people who have different stories. And so every single person here this morning has a different story of their life. And in their story, they might talk about different things that happen but also they might talk about what God has done in their life. They might realize, oh, when I was 14, oh, God did something in my life. Or I was baptized when I was 21. Or in 24, I got very sick, and God helped me through that. So these are all different ways we can actually think about the story of our life. And the Bible actually talks about our life sometimes being like a book, and there's different pages in this book. And God is actually helping us write the story of our lives. And so, Ali, as you get older, you'll be able to tell people, oh, actually, I was born in this year, and I was born in Vancouver, and I have one younger brother, and these might be all different details of your story. And the question is, how has God been part of our story as well? And so today, actually, we're going to be hearing three of those special stories today. Uh, We'll also have a a sermon, but a different style sermon, but we're going to hear three of these special stories today. I'm very excited for that. But I want to share a verse from you from the book of Psalms that talks a little bit about this, okay? And this is from Psalm 145. And this is what it says. They speak about the powerful and wonderful things you do. I will talk about the great things you have done. And hear what the psalmist is saying. Other people want to talk about all the good things God has done in their life, in their story. So as they think about the story of their lives, they can remember what God has done. And then the psalmist says, I'm going to do the same thing. I will also talk about the great things you have done. And so I hope as you kids grow older and you're able to tell your story, that you're able to share what God has done in your life. Okay? So let's pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you that you are good and loving to me. Help us understand our life story that we can share how good you are to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you, children.